Well, we're getting reloaded. That's kind of nice. On a Tuesday, lately, it's been a little dead, right? So that's kind of nice. Getting out of here, getting out of OKC. The engineers, you know, smart people, really smart, you know. But sometimes common sense don't really work out, you know. Well, at least my engineers. And, well, it was me. So I got it all loaded up here, and I kind of stretched it out over the deck. I don't have very much. 17,000 pounds. It all pays pretty good. It's all got to be tarped, you know. I got her stretched out over the deck. It's looking pretty good. Then I get over here, and I'm like, you know, let's throw some straps on. Where's my straps? Right under there. So when you're doing this stuff, in the future, to my future self, think about everything. I was just so excited to get sides up and try something different than everybody else is doing that uh, when I have them down, it covers my box. I, I can't get my straps up. So now I gotta raise it up, pull out however many straps I think I'm gonna need, and then drop her back down, throw the straps on it, throw the tarp on it, and then I raise it back up again. I know, truck drivers were so dramatic, I know, I know. We're like fishermen, we're like fishermen, you know. The wind was blowing 100 miles an hour. You should have seen the snow, the flakes were just coming at you. The wind, it was so strong, it was coming up from the bottom. We exaggerate a little. And I'm exaggerating, it's not that big of a deal. But I might have to start putting all my stuff in my... I got tool, whoa, tool boxes on my truck, right there, on both sides. I might have to take everything out of those. Maybe put them in the toolboxes here, so that I can easily just grab straps and go. But I don't know if this is the... I don't, I don't know if this is the way to go or not. The wind! Uh, this is a trucker story. Coming through Wyoming, to, like, we're in Oklahoma. They just had a tornado. Okay, two of them, like in like three weeks. F4s. Like that's the second baddest guy in the on the block, you know. So the winds were nasty. And these boards, you know, they're blowing in and out. And it'd be better, of course, if I had something on top, which that's coming up next, to hold the tops together, right? But maybe I just I don't. I don't know. And then, of course, they're in a hurry for my stuff here to, uh, today, actually. And uh, the guy unloaded it here in the yard, and he banged it, dropped the pallet right on the sides here. Oh, I didn't see those sitting there. Can't have anything nice around here. Can't have anything nice. <sighs> All right, well, let's get these sides. Let's see what happens here. Or let's get some... Let's get my straps out. See how that works. We'll get her worked out. Good morning. The wind is doing what wind does. Can you see the sides? So this is the side that's got 
they're all attached together it's got a little more bracing but you can see they do quite a bit of bebopping around up there This side on this passenger side is the ones that's got the split, right? I actually think my uh, my fancy locking tool has come loose because that back one shouldn't be flopping around like that as much as it is. So. Oh well, they're still on though, so that's pretty good. Well, here we are over here. Yeah, this was this was not hooked up, but I got her all s snug as a bug there now. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Got to put them uh, posts in the back there to give it some strength. Got some posts in here. To give it some strength. This is how it looks with the tarp on it though. Those last oil tools I had, they just made everything a mess. I'm supposed to be getting into some rain, so. Not too worried about cleaning her up. Looking all right. Looking all right. On the road. It's all I got early in the morning. We've been trucking for about two hours now already. And uh, the winds have been so bad, we got some kind of rattling going on out here. So let's go take a look. But I'll show you where I'm at here. Hold on. Well, you're on the floor, but I'll show you where I'm at. Can you see that? Can you see that? There! We're just at the entrance to Wyoming from Nebraska. So, But I got some kind of rattling going on up here in the... The winds have been so bad, so I'm thinking... Oh, I didn't tell you, I got a new windshield on this side. <sighs> Another 275 bucks. You know, what the heck? So I'm wondering if maybe they didn't silicone the uh, what do you call that thing the gasket that goes around it and the wind has just been unbelievably crazy this whole trip so we're gonna get out there but worst case scenario the uh, sun visor or visor is coming off that's the worst case scenario so let's go check it out well let's take a look up here What can you see? Yeah. Can you see it? Let's get up there and take a look. Oh. Hood up. Oh, let's start crawling. Can you see it yet? Okay. Got a hand there, okay, put a hand there, and then 
Gotta put a foot there somehow. Trucker yoga. Here we go. There we go. We made it. We made it. Okay. I don't know if you can tell or not, but look at. Look at that. Not even a speck of silicone on there. Look at that. See this? So that's what's making all the rocket. That's supposed to be down here. Like that. Kind of over top of this lip. Hold on here. That's as low as I can take you. I think that's the stuff I put on before because I've had a problem with these guys who put my windshields on. I've used them for about well, 12 years, but either they're using some really crappy product, and it's been the same guy, or his give a damn is busted. Do you know what I mean? He just don't give a darn. He's got too much on the go. Could be. Well, that's going to be a little annoying because that just flies up. You know, that's nice. Going down the road. Huh. Yeah, look at it. And that's just dry. That's just dry. They didn't even do nothing. Oh, well. I'm just glad it's not this thing. That's nice and sturdy, so. Always something, huh? Always something. Well, good thing the engine's still here. That's kind of nice. <clears throat> Let's see what this other set looks like. Yeah, I got up early two in the morning and took off, and now she's just after four in the morning. I prefer it like that. A little bit of oil spill. I had to add oil, and of course, you've all added oil to your cars and everything. It never goes in there. We always need one of them funnies thing, funnel thingies. But you never have one on you when you go to do it. Okay, this side of the engine's still here, so that's good. All right. Still supposed to get some snow today, too, out here in Wyoming. comes the train <laughs> that would suck eh? And a road train. Okay, don't sleep here one if I ever have to. <laughs> wheels are still on. We're having a great trip, I tell you. Engine is in and the wheels are on. It's doing not too too bad. I had to run a strap over because the sides were popping out there. Alright. Quit horsing around. We got work to do. Oh, she's a nice gray day here in Wyoming. Some nice old shrapnel in that yard over there. But I just wanted to show you the whole reason I'm kind of not looking at these Conestogas is because this is where they go to die. Let's bow our heads. Another Conestoga took the ultimate sacrifice. The Wyoming winds destroyed another one. You'll see out here that happens quite a bit. 
No, we're good with what we got. We'll figure something out here. Well, that's it. That's all hitting the road. And we might uh, chat at you before we're all done. Looking pretty good. Bye for now.